Matt Kiamana. Wisconsin has a long history of leadership and innovation in advancing quality health care. This budget seeks to build upon those strong fundamentals and, and a legacy by investing in public health, preventative care, long-term care, and behavioral health for every Wisconsin resident, whether they're Republican or Democrat or any place in between. And it starts by accepting funds to expand Medicaid. Since 2014, Wisconsin has left more than $1.1 billion on the table. That's our money that we paid for because we have refused to accept federal funds to expand Medicaid. And in all honesty, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's your money, folks. And right now, Wisconsin's federal taxpayers' money has been paying for health care in other states. We know that the people want us to have change that. They want to see investments in, in our Healthy Women, Healthy Babies initiative that would help address racial disparities and birth outcomes and ensure that more moms get the health care that they need. Folks in big cities and rural communities across the state want us to expand access for dental care. They want us to support our caregiving workforce provide more resources for substance abuse treatment and long-term care. Medicaid expansion is a lever that we will pull so that we can make these investments. The budget would bring $1.6 billion, as has been stated before, stated before, in new federal funding to make historic investments in health and well-being of every Wisconsinite. You know, I, I had an opportunity yesterday to uh, speak to uh, a group of about 500 uh, doctors that were going across the street that day, yesterday, to advocate for Medicaid expansion. I had the honor of having my oldest daughter introduce me, she being an obstetrician gynecologist in the state of Wisconsin, and it was a special moment. It was a special moment for me personally, but it was also a special moment to have the people, the doctors of our state, getting behind this issue. Who knows more, right? Who knows more? Who knows more than the people that need this expansion? So during the campaign trail, and then at the same time when those doctors are going over to the Capitol, where were the, where were the Republican leaders going? Out of town. Those doctors didn't get a chance to talk to Robin Voss, did not get a chance to talk to the leaders of the Joint Finance Committee. So on the campaign trail, I heard over and over about health care. It's one of the most talked about issues during the budget sessions, and it's also one of the most important issues talked about at the Joint Finance Committee, at their budget hearings. So I know it's hard to believe, but we have to put political rhetoric behind and make sure that health care is affordable and accessible in the state of Wisconsin. Seventy percent of the folks in the state say yes, and a whole bunch of those are Republicans. So I'm here today with a message for the people of Wisconsin. I'm going to fight like hell for Medicaid expansion. I need your help to get it done. I need you to call your legislator. legislators and tell them that you support Medicaid expansion. And here's the number you can call, 1-800-362-9472, and I'll repeat that, folks. 1-800-362-9472. Call them and tell them that you want to have Medicaid expansion. Now, we know that getting more Wisconsin residents health care coverage for Medicaid expansion is a key to a stronger health care system for our state. And with your support, we can get this done in the state of Wisconsin. Thank you very much.